Hi guys. Uh, today we are going to discuss install Sonar Cube on Ubuntu 18.04. Okay. This is all very good installation today. Sonar Cube we are going to install on Ubuntu. Let's see. And for this, you know, if you are using for any uh, AWS instances, you should be take the medium instance if it is not work on the micro level. Okay. And then we need to take the medium, then go to large instances. And then I'm going to take Ubuntu now. This is Ubuntu machine I'm going to take. Okay, medium you should be take. Okay. Now by default micro right micro it won't support it will throw the error like as uh, out of memory error i already tried if you guys if you want to try you can try and then you can come back to the medium you should be take the 4 gb ram and the 2 gb cpu and once your work is done then turn on. it is chargeable okay this medium instance is the chargeable it won't charge gives no more this less charge it may be my phone the picture is like that okay and next storage storage then take it is Launch wizard and click launch it. Let me select. Okay, let me so that's right. Launch instance. Then next. This is done. Then take it as make it as a name like a sonar cube. Make it sonar. It's fine. Right, once it is running, then make we are able to connect, then go to mobile stuff. I'm opening mobile stuff. Stop local terminal. Let's go to the path of where I have my PM files in my system. Let it be run. Let's take a little bit time for medium instance. And uh, let's connect it now. Once you're connected, just go through this documentation and uh, step by step notes for. Okay, now. Now, first, once you take right, just go to update your system. If you don't want to upgrade, just do the update only. And just update iPhone by. Upgrade little bit, take time. Okay. Now, then next, install that dependencies. Common dependencies. No, it's already all installed. Now, just I'm going to install this. This guys remember this sonar cube latest version. You should have the Java 11 should be installed, or else it won't be uh, work your sonar cube. Okay, it should be the needed the Java 11. Okay, now open JDK 11. I'm going to install now. Let's take time a little bit. Then after that, if you want eight and nine, eight, I tried eight, it won't it's not working. That's why I'll go with the Java 11. Okay. That's why we've written the both commands. Now Now after that, we need to install that database. PostgreSQL is required. PostgreSQL only here I'm going to use. Then after that, I'm going to add the repository. I'm going to install. Then I'm going to get a new user for that. These steps I'm going to be follow one by one. Okay. Check Java version. Java. Uh, 
question now java version 11 it will be there okay next I'm going to install that post get sql then i'm going to add this post get into my repo list yes then the next add this is a key we need to add pt key yes okay then next i'm going to install this post grid this database okay external database for uh, my this needed for so on okay It's fine. Success. You can start the database server using. That's fine. Now next, add one user. I'm going to create new user because of it's a more secure for creating another user to run our sonar game. I'm adding the sonar, and then next, I'm going to give the permission for the this path. Okay. And This is asking password. I'm going to creating a password for this sonar. Sonar I'm given, and then yes. Okay, it's not matched. Sorry. Sonar. Sonar. Yes. Enter. 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 Yes. Okay, let it be. Now I created the one user. That's it. Let's will come back other these steps. Okay. Now, now let's go to this. Let's let's give the permission for here. That I'm going to do that. They cannot access H1 for user. OPT sonar because of this no such file directory sonar we create that uh, we'll come back that way okay then just install then we're going to download the sonar cube we'll come back this step okay i'm going to download this first zip file sonar cube zip file 7.9.1 version i'm going to download okay Okay, it's done. It's downloaded. Then after downloaded, we need to unzip that. Unzip sonar seven point nine point one. This is not there. Then what you should do? You need to install unzip. I'm going to install that. you need to be installed okay then unzip now once i'm installed then we need to change that post get password now i'm going to change it okay then it is asking that post get password then i'm going to use for that Then I'm going to use for 
some other password was to get some also not anyway yes password updated successfully the next i'm going to move with the postgres user i'm going to switch into the postgres user from ubuntu user to postgres now you that what are the password we just entered for postgres now enter the password and postgres user id login now just create one user create users s q u b e i'm going to get one user so now if you kind of copy paste issue yes i get the user then do the ps psql means postgres sql command from to open yes this is a postgres uh, command from the next alter the user sqbe with the password of sqbe i am altering this one already it exists a new one right thus i am overwrite that alter altering that alter role then create database sqbe owner is the our that guy and fight it i find slash means it will be the quite it will come back to the slash queue means it will come back to the postgres to our normal user okay postgres now we need to give the exit from exit from this user to give a user it will come that's done now next go to this path opt sonar cd opt sonar because of this sonar folder is not there then cd go to opt then mkd here create one folder here that's good now we don't have permission then do sudo to create yes then next cd sonar then the next we need to give that this folder permission for this user here you can you can add this is the one uh, like as permission like as we need to create the folder and uh, mkdr uh, sonar is good actually okay now permission is the next but it's good to download from there actually i forgot to download there okay now wherever we downloaded just go to that path it's not required to go to ptl sonar only that you are wish wherever you are extracted just go there and uh, edit this stuff okay now just i done this done this and it's not recommended go to there then go to this path and there is no nothing is there in this file because of i should create earlier okay that's fine no problem go to here and then see we have a new file here cd so i'll keep here right now i'm going to open the file this is a sudo nano sonar keep 7.9.1 and the sonar properties file here i'm going to change something like as username i guess what are the database username database password whatever we created right that's what i'm going to create now now just i'm going to change that uh adbc username and password in this property file there is a jdbc username here is skub we given right skub 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 and comment this okay then I'm a little bit down and post it 9.3 greater than give the URL of that local host SQB or if it is based on the OS if I use that based on the database if I Oracle database we need to open this if it is if it is using the post gate use this now okay now this is for remove this stuff it's not recommended it's not required also if it is fine also it's not right no problem sorry sku skub user is this okay then next local host is fine that's fine okay then next i'm going to change that uh, to our host is the 127 by default will come let me uncomment that host yes that here sonar web host by default 00, zero it will allow all but we should be to the 127 for all okay 
And then next, we need to give that which is the user allowing this uh, previous property, but allows to the Sonar CE Java Arsenal OPTS. Here it will come. One second. Come a little bit down. Check exactly. We need to search also. So we go directly. Just I'm looking for where exactly to go. This one. Here is the SC is the what server. And if you want, we can change that your RAM space, RAM and all this one. Okay, so now see Java PDS like S512 MB and uh, one to date MB. Okay, for doing for dump out in out of memory error. Okay, you can increase this also. But I tried, it's not working that also. If you are using the media uh, like as uh, micro instance, that's why I come up with this. Okay, and then next after this. The next run as user and then save the file. Control X, yes, enter. Fine. The next open the file sonar sh file in the script. There is a user sonar user. as user is what sonar user right we have the permission for sonar user now we don't have we need to add that user permissions sonar okay then next okay in the sonar view we have elastic search also to indexing purpose our data okay this elastic search what it will do it will do the okay, it's get the data and it will be indexing and processing it will do okay and for past processing purpose and the next we need to change the here also now go to here control x save this file yes it's got saved okay now Go to this sonar cube and elastic search. Elastic search ML file. Go to here. Nano. One second. config slash elastic such that I will try. okay in this file we need to modify the sorry no name that is a whatever the host name we are giving that it really should be take okay now reset no name is what what are the host name we are giving that that should take or instead of this what will you do we are going to give this this value will come dollar post name for the host name it will print as a host name in our uh, sonar cube servers then next we need to allow the network host is the uh, for all anywhere okay for all outside of network host right then go to here If you want to can change that cluster name also by default network host right network host allow the all users to access now this is for upload ip zero dot zero okay fine the next control x save this elastic search file also done the next we need to you add our sonar user to in sonar's file i'm going to open sonar's file and i need to add that our sonar user to here 
anywhere that you in this part file wherever you want you can do just nexus is the sorry sonar is the our user then sonar our user then do the sonar and no password right fine now control x right enter okay we create the sonar user right that's it okay then next now give this even if we didn't use this sonar user uh, this path also we didn't copy the code from there then next not record this and then go to the sonar then will be problem again what i will do i will going to move this folder to there this to this what opt sonar use the sonar cd sonar fn scheme now just give the permission for that owner permission for this even there also i can give directly but for as for documentation i follow that you guys can shouldn't be confused okay you can give the directly permission for that user in the particular path also okay and switch the sonar user that we already created password for this when you start the creating user that time okay then enter the password the next start the sonar service now simple it's started it's take little bit time to wonder for checking purpose check this port is by default which port is running sonar queue which port guys this is should be come um, start with the 9000 right 9000 and elastic search is the 9000 okay now it's not there let's wait for some time if it's not running something issue is there and we need to check the issue which is not going to be stopped that where we need to go and where we need to check also i've written that documentation and which log we need to refer okay something went wrong okay just what we should do just go to this log then 9000 is not listen the port so not having the issue then not set it then go to the log path and check the ingest.log and file and sonar.log under the log folder like where is the log folder located cd like as opt sonar go to this path and see here cd sonar queue and logs folder left hand here you can see here then go to cat sonar.log open the log and it got stopped due to what boost out of check fail and what happening there is some issue optimal use from sweeper was deprecated in the version 9.0 will be likely will remove the future release that's okay and something other than this issue is a creating temp directory directory see maximum virtual machine areas will be maximum web code should be the 65530 is too low increase up to 2612224 how we can increase even i will type as the same issue when i am doing that that time what you should do you should increase that even i have written that also all the issues i faced all the issues i faced here now just go to that and then next sudo system c system ctl and duplicate then we need to increase the max point yeah max point whatever it asks so the system 
CCTL and then IFNW and then this the, the VM max like is the it's needed for the this much map map out okay then only it will be run then next start that again now start this now again start the sonar cube let's see okay then next what we'll do check the sonar log Okay, let's check the ports are run listening. Yes. Now came into the picture, right? Now what we should do? Now we need to be access this application means how we can't access directly 9000. Now what we should do? We should be deploy in the any one of the reverse proxy. Now by default, so I give listen the 9000 more. So you need to be listen the configure Apache as the reverse proxy access the sonar cube port number. Okay, let's if you want to access, you can access the 9000 if you feel like because of see this is port is binding with the this host, right? Now, for example, I can view this directly all zeros there. Let's one second. Let me start that way. Oh, I never I forgot to do that at that earlier. Oh my god, I thought one thing. Just do that also. Mm, this FLT here. Right. We should access directly. Uh, CD bin directly. Let's mm, FLT here. Where is it? Sorry. This is sonar right vi sonar properties now here if you want to allow the outside also just here we given that right 1.7 here sonar web post just give the 000 let's try set more for all After something modify what you should do, you should be restart your service. Okay, you should be stop or else stop start or else you should be restart. Restart the service. Now restart the service. Yes, what you should do. Unless what you should do, if you want to run in the 80 report, you should be uh, integrated with this uh, reverse proxy, uh, like as load balance we used right earlier. The same kind of. Okay, even it's running on the 9000 now. Okay, now it, this is also like Elasticsearch is running on the uh, 9001. Okay, now you should be make it outside of the access. What you should do? We should adding this into our mission now. Let's access now 9000. Add this port in our security group. Let's see if it works or not. If different tool for let's see. Let's try. Let's try. Even I never tried this one. it won't access right now we should be make it i guess uh, that is also basically just fine now what i should do let me change let it be configuration as it is uh, after that i will change I, let's next time we'll try this Again, yes, problem is great. 
okay then next stop circuit again then next we need to configure the apache tomcat now now just install the apache tomcat let's not apache tomcat. sorry guys sorry 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 apache web server reverse proxy i'm going to use Nginx we use right now. How we are going to use Apache? Let's like, so we'll see this now. Okay, the same, same like that. Whatever we use the Nginx, right? Same kind of. Okay. Now. Install. Proxy. Now let's restart it. Let's. More proxy we enable, then more proxy we are need to be HTTP. Okay, then next open this file configuration file sonar.config file. Something we really did wrong. Why not? Sorry, control X. No, this nano right, right? F we missed it as well. Okay. Now just create this. Now what for host is the eight zero. The next we need to add these lines in this file. Now add this server name. What are the server name we have? That name and then this is a normal. Um, this your wish that is admin password your admin URL the next the next use the reverse proxy and then for whom I need to revert it back okay 9000 9000 and then transfer the logs from this path and error logs this path then we need to if we are there what we are doing in the server inbound outbound we are going to do right same okay now here what we need to do this is we need to give the our server URL instead of that we need to give the our server now let's take our server url take it this copy and then next so this is here okay then remove this http not required now save this file now. Control X. Yes. Done. I saved my changes. Okay. Then next. This done. This done. This done. Configuration done. Configuration file done. Now. Sudo. Post file we need to add this command sonar user and so now to active new configuration we need to run the system say reload as we do anyway we are need to be reload or restart it i'm going to restart it now yes restart it then start the again sonar restart or again start okay then next Access that application with A0 port. A0 should be all right. Go to your system with A0. Mm. This one, all right. Edit. Launch widget edit. A0 should be allowed. Let's see. Inbound rule. Edit. And then add rule. HTTP yes will come anywhere by default. Yes, save it anywhere by default. It will come. Okay. Now let's access this now. No need to give fourth number now because of we already given the inverse proxy. Right? Service is unavailable temporarily out of service. Our server is not unable. That's something we did wrong. What is that? Means let's check the sonar logs now. Means 
see what block we got. Cat web dot log. We are adding the sonar.crc option or invalid server. We are giving the option in the configuration file something we did wrong. Okay. On file, then SM file here. This is invalid argument we given this. VA sonar property. Something we did wrong, right? Here, sonar rifle C, right? How we are going to do this now? Where we did wrong? Like we did it with the iPhone solar, I think. So let's check this here. Now. We'll take with the iPhone sonar. Okay. Now, correct. Insert mode. Then, iPhone sonar. Control. Escape. Shift color. WQ. Save as file. And then, just restart it again. It magnetic. Okay, then next refresh now. Let's restart the Apache Tomcat. This just now we reload it, right? Apache also. Actually, it's taking time. Actually, it works. Actually, okay. Now our sonar gives perfectly open now this latest version and then login. Yes, what is username password, guys? This is admin admin, right? Admin admin to three. What is username password for default sonar username? Anyone remember? What is the default username? Okay, now just go to browser. Admin, admin, just do this. Login as admin now. Now we can create projects, we can want to name. Lengthy procedure, but mandatory. Clear? Clear, yes. We are successfully installed the Sonar Cube on Ubuntu 18.04.